Hi, in this video I will show you how to create this half up hairstyle with big flower braid and staggered loop braid. Start by taking hair piece for the flower braid. So simply use the elastic to secure this piece together, then put it away. Next I will create the loop braid under the section for the flower braid. So first, take a three sections of hair and start to braid like a French braid. Print strands from side over to the middle. And on the very beginning, I add hair from the both sides. Soon, I will drop the addings away. Right over, add hair. Next, I split a small piece of hair from the left side, bring the rest of the strand over, and add hair under the splitted section. Then I leave a small piece out from the right side and bring the strand over. And then I add hair. As you noticed, I added also on this side under the splitted section. Then I split the section from the left. I bring the previous splitted strand under the new one, adding that to the left strand. And then I add some hair and bring the whole strand over to the middle. Split the section from the right, bring the previous strand under the new one, and then the whole strand over to the middle. Split the strand from left, bring the previous under the new one, and add to the strand on the middle. Split the strand from right, bring the strand over, then replace. Split on the left, bring the strand over, replace, split the strand on right, bring the strand over, and replace. Split on left, bring the strand over, replace, split on right, bring the strand over, and replace. To get the loops pop from the braid, you need to pull splitted strands out from the braid like this. And after that, continue the braiding until the end of the hair.
Next, I will create the fistel braid on top of the loop braid. I take some hair from both sides and cross them over each other on top of the loop braid. Then I take a new strand from left and bring it over to the right side. Then new strand from the right over to the left side. New strand from left over to the right side. And new strand from right over to the left side. I will continue adding the hair from the both sides until I've covered totally the part lines from the previous braid. When the covering is done, I continue the braiding without addings. Just bring the small strand from side over to the another side, then same from the opposite side. Continue the braid until it's on the same length as the loop braid. Next, I will create the flower prey and I use some water for the hair strand. Then I separate the hair strand to the three pieces so that I have two bigger sections and one little bit smaller. Then I create one rope twist braid from each strand. So separate the hair in two. Then twist the right strand to the left and spin the rights over each other's to the right. Twist left, spin right. Then pancake the one side of the twist. Then again twist, spin, twist, spin. Here's yet the slower version. Twist left, spin right. Twist left, spin right. Twist left, spin right. And keep on repeating like that. Next, I will create the flower using all these three rope twist braids. Create the circle and secure the circle with the bobby pin. Then, spin the rest of the braid around that circle. Make sure that the side you pancake it from the braid is on upwards. That's how you can create the pancake sections pop up better. Secure the shape yet with puppy pins and then take the new strand and spin it around on the same way. some pearls into the flower. Here's the final result of this hairstyle. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked, please subscribe and hit the thumbs up for this video. Have a great day!